The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX and also the FTSE like we usually do. Both of these markets have evidently not caught the infection of higher prices like we have here in the United States. I believe this is the seventh day up in the markets as the bank earnings, as Tommy reported, are going crazy, pushing stocks higher, and they seem to be wanting to go higher and higher. We had a question about one of the things that we've been following uh, closely, and that is the price of platinum. Folks, if you'll take a look at the platinum here, you'll notice that uh, we were looking at a price here of around um, 1039, 1038. We hit a 1046 this morning early. We're now trading at around 1032, I believe. So it's backed off a little bit. That has completed that pattern. That is the major ABCD pattern from the high on September the 3rd to the low down on November the 11th. And that does complete that up into that level. As you know, the silver and gold have been lagging badly behind this, but the platinum has been going crazy but nothing like what has been going on with the old palladium. Folks, you're not going to believe the price of palladium this morning. It was exactly uh, 22.55, I believe, was the high on palladium today. That exceeds the 1.618 by quite a bit. It exceeds the ABCD by quite a bit. So it's uh, certainly, you know, going up a whole lot, uh, a whole lot. Oh, we got our first caller today. Holy cow, from South Carolina, we've got Gomez. Gomer on the line. Gomer, are you there? Hi there, Mr. Larry. Thank you for taking my call. How are you today? Well, I'm good, Gomer. What can I help you with? I'd like you to talk about Tesla. Okay, we'll do that, Gomer. As you can see here, we've got a price here of 1.618 up there at the 454 level. That was the high on the, the, the uh, stock was, I believe, 452. It's down about $25. But Mr. Larry, what happened to Mr. Isaac Newton? He always said that for what goes up must come down. It don't seem to be happening to stocks these days. Well, Gomer, sometimes things are different. This happens to be one of those times, and, you know, maybe I'll have to do something different. Well, Mr. Larry, if you ever get a chance to come down here to Mayberry, come down and we'll teach you how to flip grits. You can make a living doing that, my friend. Well, Gomer, thanks for calling in, buddy. Keep those cards and letters coming in. Okay, folks, that was nice of Gomer to call in. I always wondered when I was going to be able to learn how to flip grits, but that's the way it goes. Folks, I have no idea where the stocks are going, but they have gone far, far higher than I ever thought they would, which, you know, I'm surprised a lot. But this one really surprised me. Now, the $64 question on Tesla is, was that the 1.618? If you'll remember, I was very, very uh, excited about Apple when it was at the 1.618 at uh, 294 four, I believe. And of course, now it's at 314, $20 higher. So just because these numbers hit, that doesn't mean they're etched in stone. And that's why they have value, because when they go beyond these numbers, that's where you really have to uh, decide whether you want to move on or not. So let's keep that in mind when we're looking at some of these. So we're looking at the NASDAQ. You'll see here, it just keeps accelerating. Uh, to the upside, and we'll be able to see if it's going to be going up to this level right here. You'll see uh, we're, we're, we hit 91, I think we hit 91.10 last night. So we'll be able to see if that's going to be very much. The next one, we since we're since we're down there in Mayberry, we might as well talk about the hog market because that one's been working uh, really nice and uh, it still has some nice profits in it. And then we also need to uh, chat a little bit because of this. The uh, China trade deal is all in, and we need to. Uh, well, they're supposed to be phase two, phase three, you know, whatever it's going to be. We really don't know all the things to it, but we want to uh, talk a little bit about the uh, the soybean complex this morning. Remember, we were looking at um, 
Yes, that's why you have erasers on your pencil, Bill, is uh, for these uh, to, when you make mistakes. Here's the March soybean oil. The two things that are important about this chart, folks. Two weeks ago, we reported that we were making a 1.618 expansion of the high in February. We were also making an ABCD pattern. We've now dropped uh, two and a half handles uh, down from that high. And so we should be coming into some really good support here at around 3250. You'll see that's that old high where the double top was. That should be very good support because that will also be a 382 off of the bottom. And it will also be a 61% retracement off the low of 382. So that's where the numbers come in to help you to find out whether they're going to work or not. And believe me, you know, folks, you only have to be right really about 30% of the time. Tom Hugard has proven that beyond any stretch of the imagination for what he's done over the last six years or so. But it, it, that's what you really have to do. And it's all based on expectancy. If you take your, and this is one of the things that I'm going to be covering uh, in the webinar that I'm going to be doing here pretty soon at uh, TFNN. You want to take your average win time your 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 percent of your win time your average win, and you take your minus your percent loss time your average loss, and you divide that by your average loss, and it will get you to what you're going to be looking at was the amount of money that you have to risk per trade. That's a short way of looking at optimal F is what Ralph Vince looks like. Now today I'm going to be uh, taking Tom um, O'Brien's place at one at uh, three o'clock, doing his show, and I'm going to be covering uh, some of the things that uh, Vince Ralph Vince had in his letter because he has switched uh, from bullish to bearish. He's not shorting; he's just getting out of all long positions, is what he was referring to this morning. So that's what we're watching. So we'll see, you know, what happens as we walk through this uh, today and uh, look at some of the things that are. Uh, really happening with this. So bear with me as I move on to the next one that I wanted to cover uh, because uh, it was something that uh, we talked about yesterday. And I believe, uh, yes, here we are. This was getting back to the soybean complex again. Let's take a look at this. Okay, you'll notice here that uh, we have pretty much of a triple top from June. And then it's well, it, you know, it's pretty much a head and shoulder, isn't it? Yeah, it is head and shoulders top. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I missed that. Yeah, they're both the same price. 962 in March beans. They're both the same back in June. And again, there, there's a perfect 61. The ABCDs there. What we were talking about was that cluster of how the market had stayed there for about 10 days. And that's exactly what happened and then broke down. Look what happened in October. The market stayed there for 10 days and then broke down. Look what happened in June. The market stayed there for eight days and then broke down. So watch these patterns, folks. They repeat over and over again and with regularity enough that you can make a prediction. And that's what Dr. Andrew Lowe used in his book, you know, how to look at the random, the non-random walk down Wall Street. So that's uh, very, very important to pay very, very close attention to that. So we'll, we'll be, we've got a break coming up here pretty soon already. Let's check and see how much higher. Are we up to 300 on the Dow yet? No, but soon, I think. Uh, let's see where we are here. We got up to, we're trading 3305. Watch 3311 today, folks. 3311 to 3323. Uh, in the S&P, or is that 43.23? It's one of those two numbers, either 33.43 or 23.43. I'm not sure. Anyway, 33.11 uh, is the number that we're looking at, so sort of kind of keep a, a close eye on that, and uh, that'll be an interesting one. The gold continues to uh, sell off. Uh, all we did last night was to make a 78% retracement of the previous day's high. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, the next chart you're looking at uh, comes from uh, uh, Mr. Z. He uh, told us that Mr. Um, Tom DeMarco is looking at a potential sequential pattern uh, setting up. And as you can see, it has to go down quite a bit. It has to reverse the close uh, four days earlier. So that's a long way uh, for it to go. But there's a potential setup. That, that means this thing could go up another 10 days and then form another pattern. But it doesn't work until it breaks down. We've had a request here to take a look at the uh, the corn market, and we certainly want to do that. Let's get this up here and take a quick look at corn, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see everything we need to see in the corn market. Uh -huh, we're looking okay here. Let's get this up here to take a look at it. Uh, we're, we're still quite a bit lower than we've been in a long time. Let's get this chart up so everybody can see it, and then we'll be in good shape here. Hold on. This happens to be the March corn we're looking at right now. As you can see, we rallied up to that 61% retracement around that 391, 392. We're now 10 cents lower. We're down a little bit this morning here. Uh, I believe that uh, corn's got really good support around the 372 level. You see that it hit it once. And we had the report. You'll notice that spike that came down at 377. If corn's really good, uh, Bob has a question from Spokane. If corn is really good, it's not going to take out 375. So you, right now you have a risk between 382 and 375, which is seven cents in corn, which is 350 bucks. So if it goes below that, then there's something wrong, and the trend is down. Right now, if you look at this, we're in a we're in a pennant formation. You can see we have um, we have lower highs and higher lows over the past month or so. It's very simple to see that. In fact, on the day of the report, we had a 135 pattern form, and that. That is a really nice pattern, and it stopped exactly at the ratios that it was supposed to and uh, promptly rallied 15 cents, and now it's giving some of it back. So you have to assume that this is still uh, in an uptrend. That's the way I would look at it. Bob, I hope that helps, but from this level, you don't have to risk very much at all to see if you're correct. But below uh, 375, uh, you're going to have uh, some problems. That's the way I would look at it. That's the way it would look like to me. But just, just to show you where we've been here, folks, let's just take a look here over the last, uh, you talk about inflation. Let's take a look at the corn here. 
over the last five years. Look at this, folks. We were trading at $8 a bushel way back in 2012, and now we're one-third that price. And uh, look, we've been at this we've been at this level now since 2015. So there's a lot of demand that's been going on around three fifty four dollars a bushel, and if this thing ever pops up to the upside, uh, you could see uh, something really happen. Maybe that'll be related, you know, to the Federal Reserve uh, finally uh, demonetizing or remonetizing or whatever they're going to do, but. Um, that's neither here nor there. I don't understand that uh, that mechanics behind that. All I do know is that that bond market certainly looks like it wants to go to the downside. I don't think there's any uh, looking at. Terry's got a question. Uh, how do you decide which one to trade? But the really, the, Terry, you want to trade the one with the most open interest, and the best way to uh, the best way to do that is to go to www.cme, and then you just click on data. And then you go to agriculture, go to corn, and then look at the look at the different contracts. They go from March, uh, they have March corn, and then they have uh, July corn. They don't have they don't have April and June. So you have March, July, uh, August, and then you have September, December. But uh, though you find the one that has the most open interest, it's usually the front month, and that's the one you want to uh, look at. Usually, if in in your database that you have it, they usually have the front month as your lead contract to make it easy for you to pick, you know, what you want to do. Um, David just posted the website to look at, and then you just go in and look at it. That's what you do when you check open interest. And by the way, the open interest yesterday in all of the stock indices increased. Uh, that's the first increase we've had this week, and it was a pretty good increase, too. But we're still 25% under our highest open interest in the E-mini S&P because the people did not roll over from uh, December to uh, March. They did not roll over their lungs. Anyway, let's move on to the next question that we might have here. Uh, and I wanted to uh, take just one second to talk about the uh, dollar index here a little bit because I believe we're at a very, very critical level, folks. Because uh, if you'll notice, we'll get this up here to take a quick look at it. We did hold that the 97.25 level. We're a little bit lower than that now. That means that the euro has popped up. It's still flirting with that 112 and change, which is the 61% retracement so we're still in this zone here you still can't give up on the dollar because it still is uh, it looks still bullish and the and the euro still does look bearish the question is 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 it going to break out of these levels and you hear the, the pundits on the bloomberg and cnbc every time you have someone on they have someone else replacing them telling them what just the exact opposite of what the other person said so the only thing you can do is you got to rely on something and so what i do is just try to rely on the abcd patterns and see what's going on and if you'll take a look here this is what's been happening all this is done folks since the high we we made last year in December at 160, 116 and change. We came all the way down to 109. That was a beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern, a monster ABCD. We tested it again at the 78% level there at 110 back on December the 1st. We completed the ABCD there. And right now we're in the midst of completing another ABCD. In other words, we started a uh, A leg down and we should have really strong support if it's any good right around uh, 110.70 is what I would be looking at. But if we start getting below 110 in the euro, that's only down 150 pips from where we are right now, then you're looking at a market that's getting ready to break down and it'll tell us more and more. That might be what would cause the gold to accelerate to the upside. But folks, until gold can clear 15.70, I think it has a bias to the downside. Even though we've had big moves in platinum, like we did last night, uh, we were looking at that over the last day or so, of course. But uh, you know, it's uh, maybe and maybe that one's completed. I'm I'm not absolutely sure, but you know, nobody's sure of anything anymore. So those are the few of the things that we're paying close attention to here today. All righty, I wanted to mention something here about the Australian dollar because the Australian dollar is still in a bullish mode. Let me get this up. Even with the fires going on over there, we've now got up to around 69.50. Uh, we're up now six days in a row. So we're due to have some type of a correction in here. There's some strong resistance up around 69.70 in the Australian dollar, and we'll see whether that's going to uh, hold the market uh, or not.
So let me take one second here to see how much things are running today. Uh, they're not going too crazy. We're still up about 100 and some points in the Dow, it looks like, and we're up about 30 some in the in NASDAQ, up about 10 or 11, 12 in the S&P. So it's relatively quiet here. And uh, Mr. Newton will be disappointed that things are not going straight up today. But I told Isaac this morning in a seance that I had to be patient that, uh, you know, they will get higher today. And someday, long before um, he's out of the history books, the market will go down. I, I assured him that I didn't know when exactly, but someday they would go down. By the way, I don't know if you folks know this or not, but Isaac Newton lost almost all of his money in the South Sea bubble uh, back in the uh, 1700s. And uh, it was really quite sad, but he came back pretty good, I think. 877 927 6648. Larry Pesavento has just announced a special 90-minute live webinar taking place this month for subscribers to his Fibonacci 24-7 trading service. On January 29th, from 4 till 5.30 p.m., Larry will be covering how to read supply and demand and how, in combination with his trademark ABCD patterns, you can control risk and maximize profit in today's algo-dominated markets. In this live 90-minute webinar, Larry will cover a hidden in plain sight trend change pattern that gives you early entry into to the trend, how to find and update the key harmonic numbers to trade against in futures, forex, and stocks, how to translate three go-to patterns into supply and demand, and how to use them for entries, the continued importance of the opening price in 2020, and how to use the time of day when taking a position and for entry into longer trends. Sign up now by clicking on the newsletter tab on the front page of TFNN.com and select Fibonacci 24-7. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we wanted to look at the price of wheat here. Yesterday, we talked about the possibility of that being a potential double top in the wheat. Uh, so far, uh, you know, this is exactly what's happened. I'll post what we're at this morning. Uh, we're now down 14 cents from the high where that ABCD structure came in. And so there should be strong support here at around uh, 565 in the wheat. Uh, anything below that would tell us that we're most probably uh, getting ready to uh, – 
move a, uh, a little bit lower. Whether that's going to happen or not, you know, we have to remain to be seen. The market's opening. Remember the price of 33.11 in the S&P. We hit a high at 33.08 last night. That's 33.08, folks. 33.08. That's, uh, that's the number. We're talking a different handle now. Anyway, let's uh, keep an eye on that. Also, the, the bonds are weakening down, mainly because of the problem that we had this morning with one of the reports that came out. But those of you that were listening Listening to the show yesterday, if you remember, we were talking about the fact that we were looking at a very, very strong uh, Fibonacci number in the bonds that would cause it a great deal of trouble up there at 58. Uh, let's get this up here so you folks can see it up at 58.24. Uh, uh, we hit that this morning. We took out the previous day's high by one tick and then bada bing, bada boom, and down it came uh, to that level here at uh, 58.09. Now, if we start getting below 58, then you're going to see more of a correction in here. But this did complete a perfect ABCD pattern. That is a Gartley pattern, and it has all the things necessary that you'd like to see you know, to do that. So if it works sometimes, it's really good. When it doesn't work, don't do it. That's the bottom line. The key to winning, folks, is to don't take the losing trades. You've got to remember that. That will be covered exclusively in the webinar that I'm going to be doing for TFNN. That'll probably be one of my last webinars, boys and girls. So try to listen to it. It's going to have some really good stuff. We're going to be talking about how to use option option chains to determine volatility and things like that. And uh, you know, it, you're going to really enjoy it. I, I know you are, uh, because it's going to be some fun new things that I think that uh, you'll like. I've learned a lot. Over the past three or four months, working daily with uh, with uh, Tom Hugard and uh, John Jameson, and so it's going to be uh, quite uh, quite a good thing to look at. So far, we've almost made a new high in the S&P, but not yet. So we, oh, we're going to be patient here. The next second or so, Mr. Newton will be uh, back in business here to see higher prices, and here they come. Uh, almost. We'll see what happens. Okay, move on. We have a question this morning. Uh, going back to that corn market, uh, the, co the question is, how do I know that uh, 375 is going to hold? I absolutely do not know that. And I, I re re repeat that over and over again. You never know what's going to happen next. You have no control over that, folks. So pay very close attention to that. That's really, really important, you know, to understand that you don't want to uh, get involved, uh, you know, with that because it really, uh, it, it really messes up your thinking and all the other stuff that uh, that goes along with it. You know, so that's that's why it's uh, that's why it's so uh, very, very important. Okay, let's move on here to the next one we look at. So we hit the high. Uh, did we make a new high in the NASDAQ yet? No, but we're close. Uh, the NASDAQ high is you now. We just made it. Well, not yet. We'll see. Anyway, this is a key time of the day, that opening price. It's very, very interesting. One of the things that we'll be covering on that webinar is uh, the key time of the day to trade. And believe it or not, folks, each of the instruments that you usually trade has a key time of the day that is different than you might think. In other words, it might not be 30 minutes. It might only be 20 minutes. It might be 15 minutes. It might be exactly at the opening. We're going to share some of those statistics with you to uh, show you that you can actually put that big advantage in your favor as you uh, start to uh, to look at these things. So that's what makes it uh, sort of fun. Well, we're back up to the highs here in the E-mini. We're going to make that 33.11 without any much trouble, I would believe. So we'll see uh, what happens with it today. I believe this is the seventh or eighth day in the row that we've been up. Let me double check this here in the NASDAQ. I believe I can do that quickly. Just get it up here. Uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days in a row. So that's going to be an interesting one to, to see. Usually, well, you remember back in December, we had a run of 12 days in a row, and then we just backed off into early January, and we've been going up ever since that time also. So it's going to be uh, quite interesting to see these things uh, unfold as they uh, as they come through. Oh, someone's had a question about sugar the sweet. Just give me a second here, and we'll get this up here. Uh, and also, we have a uh, a um, a uh, question about the coffee. Also, let's get this up here. Remember the sugar. We've been uh, quite bullish on this for quite some time here. Let's get this up here. I haven't updated the chart here, but it it continues to move higher. 
Oh, boy, what a nice bottom we had back there in September, huh, folks? Let's get this up here so you folks can take a look at it. But we have uh, continued to move on, and uh, away it goes. So that's another one that looks pretty good. Now, the other one that we really need to watch is the coffee, because uh, we have been have some coffee traders uh, here at uh, TFNN, maybe Ruby and some of the other folks. Mr. Z, I know, is involved with it uh, quite a bit. And we were looking for coffee to, to hold, but it did not. And I think we brought that to your attention that it had to hold that uh, that 119 level, and it didn't. And you know, let me get this up here. You can see what happened here. Pull this up here. You'll be able to see it pretty easily here. There we go. You see the 120 level was a 382. It didn't hold there at all. It just started breaking down. That told you something was wrong. That's that's. It was a 50% retracement and a 382 retracement at the same time. And now we're coming down. The only hope it has now is down here at around 111, two cents away. That's going to be really important, folks, because that's going to be the 61% retracement of the low back from October, and it's going to be 78% from the low back in, uh, on the 18th. That's where it's going. It's going to 111. Uh, the $64 question is, is it going to stay there or not? Look how many days in a row this one's been down. This has been down, this has been down 13 days in a row. We came down five days, rallied up uh, five days, and then bang, down 13 days. This is one of those ones, oh, we sh wish we had Gomer back on the line. This is one that Isaac was right about. What went up did come down. Shut the front door. Uh, if you remember, uh, if you've ever read any of the stuff of Einstein, I mean, I read about his life. I don't know anything about the math. That's too far over my pay grade. But, but he said that most of the uh, the laws that Newton uh, relied on, that everybody relied on, the lies, laws of gravity and motion, he said all these will be repealed. So, you know, Newton or uh, Einstein was a pretty smart dude, but uh, they haven't been repealed as of yet. So let's remember that as we move on here through the tr trials of life. Someone asked a question about the Hang Seng Index. And I don't believe I have that anymore. Let me try it one more time here. I might be able to get it. Let me see if we can get this one more time here. Uh, nope. Uh, my new data service doesn't have to. I have to figure out what the uh, what the symbol is on that so we'll be able to uh, take a look. The one thing I'm absolutely sure of, boys and girls, and I mean this with 100% certainty, we are going to see volatility that is going to knock your socks off. So get ready, boys and girls. Get ready. You think that dot-com bubble in 2000 was something? This is going to be even bigger than that one. This is going to make this one look like a nursery rhyme. And the reason why is we got too many of those weapons of mass destruction known as ETFs. So that's it. That's We'll see what happens. Anyway, we'll move from that level on to the next time after we come back from the break. I want to talk a little bit more about the currencies, and uh, we'll see it. All right. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. 
The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Nick. Okay, we're back, folks, and one of the lucky callers got through today on that jammed phone line. Thanks, Al, for getting him through. Dennis, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Larry? I'm still above ground. Stand away from open graves, my friend. What can I do for you? I uh, wanted to take a look at Palladium. Did you know Palladium was named after the asteroid Pallas? Nope, I did not know that. Not at all. And it just so happens that Pallas will be changing signs from Sagittarius to Capricorn. We'll be entering Capricorn in two days from now. So I'm expecting... Okay. A trend change in palladium, if that's how that works. <laughs> well, um, you know, this the other one hasn't worked, so you better pay close attention. One thing you might want to do, Dennis, is to go back and check how the sign changes have worked with palladium, because sometimes that's how you find out, you know, if that cycle is there, you know. So it's it's important. It's, uh, what, 20, uh, we, what 20, uh, 30 days, so you could easily check it. But uh, that's one uh, yeah. thing to pay attention to. I, I, I don't trade palladium at all. I never have, and it'll probably be a while before I will. But we hit uh, 22.50 today. We've already backed off $60. So it's it's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. For sure. And I was wondering, I hate to ask it again, um, is it a uh, three peaks and a dome top? Are people it's, from it's, last it, night trapped? It, it's, yes, it like is. Three I, gold did? Yes, it's very – what I'll do is I'll draw in the three peaks and so the folks can see it, and then they can see the domed house, which is the uh, extension of this that takes it up to the 2250, and then you'll be able to uh, – you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Now, if you wanted to see one that's a lot a lot easier to look at and much more fun to trade, if you take a look at the uh, Platinum, Dennis, it's much easier because you'll notice here on the yeah. Platinum we had a really nice uh, – you know, butterfly pattern form. It's, excuse me, it's a three drive because we did take out the uh, the B point by higher high. So that's a, a three drive to a top pattern uh, right there. And it also had the longer term ABCD that we talked about. That came in at uh, 1038. We did get as high as uh, 46. So it went about $400 higher. And it's, it's already broken $35 today. That's the first price objective, by the way, which is the 60. 1% retracement of point C. So uh, that's mm -hmm. another one that looks uh, looks real interesting. So I think uh, something we should keep a close eye on anyway. Very nice. I'll look for a retracement back up. Are you trading palladium? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, very <laughs> single, single contract. <laughs> well, you have to with single contracts. I mean, are your fills okay? Are the bid and asks all right? Because at sometimes I know the bid and ask can be horrendous in there. But uh, how, how have they been filling you as far as your uh, your trade uh, I, I, execution? I let it come to my price uh, to, the, to those oh, levels. Okay. I, I don't okay. try to no, chase all right. it. Good. So, um, good. Using I limit orders, that's in, a good way to In your to trading it. room uh, when you had trading tutor. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, I remember typing um, 
uh, it's a privilege to be trading with you. And you type back, uh, who, who the heck are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I should ask you the same question. Uh, Gomer today told me I was going to be flipping, uh, you know, uh, grits down in uh, maybe. Bury South Carolina pretty soon. So if it keeps going up, it probably will. Actually, you know, I have not. Once we went above the high of the 10th, which was on Monday, I knew that there was something seriously wrong, and uh, so I had to had to stand aside after we went above that 31, uh, 32.55 uh, level. So we'll see if that's. Uh, we did make a higher high just a little while ago in the S and P than we did overnight, but uh, the Nasdaq yeah. keeps going uh, keeps going crazy, which is what it should be doing. It moves 40 points Bill just like uh, palladium. <laughs> Yeah, Bill Meridian says uh, when Mars hits the eclipse point, that's when stuff really starts happening. And I believe that uh, is going to happen either in February or March when Mars hits the eclipse mm -hmm. point. I know everyone was looking for that eclipse to change the trend, but sometimes you got to wait for Mars to come by. Yeah, well, uh, it could probably go up every day till then. But I will bring that uh, <laughs> chart up because I did get it from Bill, and I can show you all the things that are happening. It's actually March 20th. That's when we come yeah. really close to the spring equinox, you know. So you can see if you get a chance to look in the Tiger Den, you'll see how all those planets are lined up on 60%. And that means that something really big is going to happen. But, you know, this this was as big as it gets from what we were looking yeah. at uh, from the 10th through the 13th, and here we are on the 16th, and it's still going up, and it's it's never been more than three days, and this is day five, so there, it's yeah, going yeah. to an area where who knows where it's going to go. That's basically yeah. what you're paying attention to this morning anyway. Okay? All right. Thank you. Hey, well, Dennis, uh, where, 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 do, where are you from? Um, uh, New York, Wait, but I have a brother-in-law in, in Tucson who we'll oh. can try and visit you later this year. Well, if you do, please give me a couple days' notice and come up and visit us. We'd be happy to see you, Dennis. Will do. And my sister yeah, and we, we, we validate also. parking here at the office, too, so it should be no problem. <laughs> Great. Okay. Thanks a lot, my friend. Right, I, really, I really appreciate it. Okay, let's take a quick review uh, of the markets in here to see what we have going on. Okay, we got the S&P is now gone from a high last night at 308. We've now come down to 304. The Nasdaq had a low at around uh, 90, uh, 87, and then it rallied up at a quick 30 points like it usually does up to uh, 91.17, and now it's backed off about 10 points. Folks, you're going to start to see some volatility in here. I don't know where the market's going to keep going straight up or not, but you're going to see some incredible volatility. So just buckle up your seatbelt and make sure you're wearing a seatbelt because uh, it can be pretty uh, pretty nasty if, you, uh, if you're not paying attention here. So that's... Uh, Another reason to uh, use stops, because if you don't use a stop, you're basically telling Mr. Market or Mrs. Market that uh, I know more than you do. And that's the one thing we absolutely know for sure. You do not know more than her. That is it's etched in stone. Uh, Larry Williams did some work on uh, the theory of runs. In other words, the number of times the market runs up three days, backs off, runs up four days, backs off. Uh, after three days, there's a 70% chance that the market's going to back off. After four days, it's like 75%. Days six, seven, and eight, it goes to 85%. After days eight, it is now in a continuous run where it could go 8, 13, 21. I think the number of days up still stands at 22, as I recall. Uh, probably Palladium broke that, but back in the old days, it was 22 days up, 22 days down in both sugar. Well, as silver went 22 days up, 22 days down, sugar did it also. Uh, those those had the record, as, as I remember it. But now you know, that's going to be broken, I'm sure, because I haven't looked at that record in a very, very long time. So uh, that's uh, that's neither here nor there of what we're, you know, keeping an eye on. So let's pay uh, pay a close attention because someday the market will correct. Whether it'll correct uh, 3 percent, 2 percent, 30 percent, or 50 percent, we don't know. But there will be a correction someday. Maybe not in my lifetime. But we will see uh, what happens uh, overall as we move through these uh, uh, times of uh, very interesting. By the way, I want to spend the last few minutes uh, on uh, 
the political environment here uh, in the United States. So I'm going to start out with telling you that there's going to be an election in November. Uh, that concludes our talk on politics. Uh, we'll get back after this next break and we'll review where some of these markets are and where they might possibly go. Uh, and it looks like they could go a lot higher. There's high probability, though, that Tesla has made a high, folks, because that big, big drop. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as our number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, I wanted to mention that uh, tomorrow will be Friday. And that is very, very important because it is followed by Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday is a holiday. So the markets will be closed and we will have a holiday uh, on Monday and returning back into Tuesday. So let's uh, keep in mind that uh, that's what's going on. Okay, I, I posted the chart of the euro. You can see here since uh, this is an hourly chart, you know, going back uh, to uh, the, uh, the 10th.
of uh, January. We made the bottom down there. We completed the ABCD pattern, a nice, uh, you know, five-day rally, stopping right at uh, the 70% level from uh, the 6th, almost exactly 61% retracement, 1.618 expansion of the BC leg, and a perfect ABCD right on the money that's already made, uh, you know, 35, 40 pips, which is good. So that's another way of uh, trying to use these numbers to, uh, you know, get them in your favor as you start to uh, to look at these markets each day. So keep that in mind as we look at it. We are going to have John Jameson sometime in the next seven or eight days. He's going to join me here, and he's going to talk to us about the quantum computers that are coming. It's basically, you know, it is zero and one, but a quantum computer is an eight-sided cube that instead of the zero, it's an eight-sided cube, and it's like uh, you're using eight uh, uh, gigabytes. Well, this would be like 10 million gigabytes. That's why it's such a, a big deal. So uh, I'm taking my computer courses to get my Ph.D. here at the University of Arizona. It'll take me some time to get it done, but when I finish, everybody will be in invited to the party. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Be sure to try to do something for people that have a lot less and you folks, it's very, very important because there's a lot of people out there that are really hurting. So we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll see you on a higher opening, of course, because the market goes up every day, and uh, that's about it. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.